it's like just mates and living together. No. But then you went in also wanting, you're wanting to get into politics, which is an interesting it's scenario it's being on now. this show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's I don't think the National popular. Party's going to have a bar of me now. I think well, you never know. Uh, you never, well, uh, that was a brave thing, you know, you wanted to get into politics yeah. and yet you wanted to go onto television and say, this is who I am, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. First, you had to get through the game. So we'll have a look at that, and then we'll talk about your personal journey in the house. Here's you struggling a bit with the game. If he said to you, I'll give you immunity for three weeks, and for three weeks, I just want you to piss people off, would you do it? Yes! I know this is a game, but I just don't get why people would totally sell themselves out, you know? for that amount of money, it just doesn't make sense. I was basically a father before I came into this house. Mm. And now i found out I'm not. Crikey. Last night I started, started to um, begin the story in relation to my son Ruben. I had to pick something that was going to get a story and I was trying to pick something that wouldn't upset people. I really took that time, that story. So you should. So you should. What? We're human like beings, so we're meant to be polite, we're meant to hear people's problems. For one point I nominate Crystal, um, I feel that she might be creating some sort of a persona to get further on the game or to expose herself to benefits outside of Big Brother House. I think you need to analyse how oversensitive you're being about all this stuff. I'm going Don't keep mental, David! Stop insulting me! So much to this game that lacks humanity. Um, I take the three points off Ashley. And why aren't you taking them off yourself? Because I think only a jerk would do that. People yeah. feel that, you know, your, your friendship with Darren is a profitable alliance for him and... For and him or for me? For both. I'm not playing the game. As I said to you, yeah, I'm I not struggled playing with it. it for ten weeks. I went through what you went mm. through. Please don't make me out to be the baddie here. I'm not saying you're bad. Well, can we not I'm talk about the game you... anymore? No, I don't want to talk about the game on. anymore. No, I don't want to. Will I prove to you I'm not playing the game by leaving right now? Is that no, what you want? No, because no. that's what the doing. embarrassing. Oh, Jesus. What's embarrassing? Is it seeing yourself? Or what? What? I sucked at Wobbly on the TV. <laughs> well, yes, you did. You did. But you're a very emotional, passionate uh, person. Uh, I mean, you cry a lot, too. Yeah, uh, silk. Uh, you cry uh, quite a lot for a man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you got any mechanism? I mean, I would cry as much as you, but that was quite difficult going on national television and crying, isn't it? Yeah, but you kind of forget about it. Well, it doesn't matter, you know. That's the beauty of it. It's exactly as you said. People can play games as much as they want in the house, but at the end of the day, it's your character, isn't it? And that's exactly what you were, 100%. Now, there, when you were struggling with the microphone, you were threatening to leave. Mm. That if you could ever untangle yourself, but... I didn't get a fine for it either. You didn't get a fine. Nah. <laughs> what made you stay in the house? Um, just, you can't quit, like... It's you've got to you've got to if you if you start something you've got to see it through and that's you know I had a yarn to Big Brother about it and um, it's he said you know you've got the option to go it's up to you whoops my clothes are falling off <laughs> oops <laughs> um, yeah he said yeah you've got the option to go it's there um, I'm not going to keep you in the house but then yeah after a few chats it was like well you're quitting if you go and I'm not going to quit you could so. just never forgive yourself if you walked out on that situation no. could you no. and the interesting thing with you was that every challenge that you thought was almost too hard it just made you stronger didn't it yeah I reckon I'm tough you are tougher than you think maybe uh, okay we're going to chat more yeah we're going to chat more with David right after this celebrating his bravery passion and shall we say fair dinkumness I just wanted to have a yarn. Can you have a yarn to Big Brother? Huh? I'm gonna have a yarn, you right? Really annoys me when I'm trying to have a yarn to someone. Just yarn and yarn and yarn and yarn. Like he runs around like a bloody cockatoo in a storm, you know? Like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> he walks around with his jolly pants hanging right down. This yeah. is as funny as a lousy sheep in summer. With... I'd be up for a royal shindig. Right, now we're gonna shuffle and milk the cow. Milk the cow, milk the cow, milk the cow. Shuffle, shuffle. shuffle. Cheer the sheep, cheer the sheep. When you come on here, did you expect that there would be this sort of uh, tomfoolery from Big Brother? Oh, crikey. Crikey, mate. Oh, crikey. <laughs>